is a box. This video is for three types of people. Those who create outside of the box, those who are taking advantage of the rising art form that's known as vertical video or hashtag vert. And yeah, I guess for those who shoot mobile videography. Today I'm going to show you how to level up your vertical video game for your IGTV videos and your Instagram stories with epic video gear. Dude, I'm not done. Yeah, you're, you're done. Salutations everybody, I'm Benjamin Brandon, a vertical filmmaker, IGTV influencer, yada yada yada. I'm a guy that makes really cool, tasty vertical content. I just said tasty. And part of what I hear on YouTube is yeah, I upload some of that vertical content, but I also teach you how to do everything that I do from a vertical filmmaking perspective. That includes showing you all the gear that I use and how to use it. And yes, with videos like this, it is annoying to waste some time, so let's get right into it. Let's talk about vertical filmmaking mobile lenses. My good friends at Sandmark sent me some really cool epic mobile gear to support my vertical filmmaking, so A, thank you for that. And they sent this stuff to me a while ago. What you're looking at here is Sandmark's wide-angle lens. They also sent me a tele lens and some ND filters, icing on the cake. ND filters for a mobile device. I never thought those existed. I'm not an unboxer, but real quick, what's in the box? For the wide-angle lens box, you got the wide-angle lens, of course. A phone case to screw on the lens. A really nice pouch, not microfiber, but still really nice, and it even works for your glasses and, of course, the lens. Oh yeah, that's nice. I love the fact that it comes with two lens caps, one for the front and one for the back. That's awesome. And an external lens clip, which is super important because, well, you want to use it for multiple phones if you shoot with multiple phones. I use an iPhone XS Max, which that's what the case is, and I also shoot with an iPhone 7 Plus. The other reason why the external clip is super cool is because you can use it for your front-facing or selfie camera. And of course, we know front-facing cameras or selfie cameras are prime for Instagram stories, right? Again, vertical video. Let me show you a comparison with and without the wide-angle lens on a front-facing camera. Now, as far as what comes with the telephoto lens, it's everything that the wide-angle lens came with. Now, let's get into some details on the wide-angle lens and why you need it for your vertical filmmaking, vertical vlogs, or whatever you're doing. This wide-angle lens gives you a 16 millimeter look, which is similar to what you're looking at right here. This is a 15 millimeter lens that I'm using, which means what? It brings out your shot. It gives you a wider shot. Let's do some compare and contrast real quick. Here's a random clip of me shooting stuff outside without the lens. This is just my iPhone XS Max shooting natively cut to this shot of me using the Sandmark wide-angle lens, you can totally tell the difference with this compare and contrast right here. So when you think about a wide lens like this one, use it for A-roll, which is what you're looking at right now. If you're not familiar, A-roll is essentially your narrative or your dialogue, your context of your video. A-roll killer for sure, let's move on. Another critical thing this wide-angle lens does for your phone is it doubles your field of view. If you notice with your rear camera or especially your front-facing camera, you just feel so cropped in like this. One of the hardest things to do when it comes to vertical filmmaking or vertical vlogging is taking footage of yourself, especially when you're using the rear camera, which you should be using. It's preferred to use that camera because it has more of the megapixels and it just looks better. And now we're vlogging on the wide angle lens. I'm literally just holding the phone, but check this out. You can like see my toes. This lens just widens your field of view so much. Giving you a 16 millimeter look it just looks cool now let's try it without so here it is without you can tell the difference immediately right i'll give you a side by side comparison now when you're using your rear camera on your phone that's almost impossible because a you can't see yourself so you're just kind of like hold on so you're kind of just like oh i can't see myself i don't know if i'm in frame or not like eh. you can use this lens with your selfie camera and that clip and you eliminate all of those issues instantly Ooh, and one last pro tip when it comes to the wide angle lens, if you take the wide angle lens and put it down on the second notch on the case, which covers up the telephoto lens on your phone, that's why there's two, you can actually get a really cool 24 millimeter look and you can even pop in some bokeh. But there's a caveat to this, listen for this part, otherwise it's not gonna work. All the Sandmark videos that I watched and everyone reviewing these lenses didn't mention this. If you just screw it on natively on the iPhone camera app, you can see that it just blacks out your frame. Reason being is your camera app in video mode only shoots with the wide angle lens, which makes sense. Your telephoto photo lens is only there for portrait mode as you can see. So the trick to get this really nice detailed 24 millimeter look with that wide angle lens is to use an external app that allows you to switch your cameras manually such as Filmic Pro. Go into your settings, you go to camera, you have the option to switch between your wide angle lens, your telephoto lens, and your selfie camera. So select the telly and boom it opens right up and it gives you a really cool 24 millimeter look which is great because you know 
iPhones don't have lenses that can do that. That's why you get externals, and then you pair it up with Filmic Pro, and awesome. And yes, you can do that with the telephoto lens. That's enough about the wide. I think you got the point. You can see with all those comparisons and contrasts. Now let's talk about the telephoto lens. This is your B-roll machine, your B-roll master. With this tele lens, you're able to shoot clean, detailed, buttery landscape footage, B-roll footage of anything, architecture, the sky's the limit what you can do with this thing. This gives you a very similar look between a 50 millimeter and a 60 millimeter lens. So it gives you a two times zoom, which depending on what your subject is, you can get really nice bokeh or very good detailed shots from afar. And so that's why you would want a tele lens like this is to shoot some really awesome B-roll. Just make sure you don't vlog with the tele lens. Cause like, Damn. Now when it comes to the case itself, I like it a lot because it's super slim. I just like the way it looks and I really hate bulky cases. And yeah, I gotta tell you, I don't know if this will really protect a phone. That's super important for mobile filmmaking is we have our phones all the time. Not only are there our primary shooters, but we live on our phones. So if it's broken and you get the shattered glass of death, well that sucks. I do have a broken dud of a iPhone 6 Plus. Is this a 6 Plus 6S? And I've already checked, it actually fits the case. Yeah, so you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna go outside and see if this thing really holds up dropping on concrete. It's like super cold out here, so I'm just gonna do this quick and drop it. I think what I'm gonna do is drop it from the point of view, the, the angle in which I feel we would be shooting vertical video, maybe like here. Okay, so it didn't fare too well. First, it, yeah, it popped out of the case, so there's that. And second, it clipped, it like chipped some of it. I don't know how I dropped it, kind of like that. So yeah, the case should still work for the lenses. That's good. And it did protect my phone. I did drop it eh, almost six feet or so. Phone's fine. The case just took the damage. And the last thing I want to talk about really fast are these guys right here. These are mobile ND filters for these lenses. I didn't know these really existed. I mean, quality ones at least. You can go to Amazon and get like really plasticky ones. This stuff is pure glass. Super top-notch stuff, equivalent to what I use on my DSLRs or my mirrorless cameras. Metal threading all throughout, which allows you to pop them right on both lenses. Both lenses are the same ring shape and size, so these are interchangeable amongst the wide and the tele. And they give you this pack of three with the three prime neutral density layers, ND4, ND8, and ND16. P.S. If you don't know what an ND filter is, it stands for a neutral density filter, which essentially allows you to make your footage a lot crisper, sharper, and supports your visibility and exposure with harsh light. Now outside, as you saw with the B-roll and earlier in the intro, it's pretty overcast outside, but you can see when it comes to like foggy situations, these actually work really well too. Here we got some footage taken with my iPhone XS Max, just natively, camera app, all that. And here you can see a similar shot with the telephoto lens and the ND filter. This is ND4. Here's ND8. And here's ND16. And here's all three. So depending on what lighting environment you're at, whether it's a studio light, whether you're outside, it's harsh, especially during the summer, springtime, these ND filters changing your game for sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to Sandmark for sending me the wide angle lens and the tele lens and just all the, all the things. Now, if you want to get your hands on this stuff, there is a link below. Check it out in the description. You can get 10% off of these super affordable lenses, by the way. The price is not something we talked about, but you can get your hands on one of these lenses for $89.99, which again, comes with the case to screw this on, the external clip and you know all the little stuff like the lens caps and whatnot. If you're familiar with Sandmark's biggest competitor moment, you will know that you need to pay for the case and the lens itself, which rounds up to more than $89.99, just saying. And that's it. Use the link below to get 10% off of your wide angle or your telephoto lens. If you have any questions, just comment below. I get to every single comment. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and smash that like button. Just get after it. Subscribe for more videos just like this to enhance your vertical filmmaking quality, and I will see you on the next one. Yeah, that's all I got. I may give away the telephoto lens after I do the moment review. If you want to see that giveaway, comment below. Let me know. This could be yours. If there's enough comments that say I want this. I'm out.